Hi everybody, it's X Reacts, and welcome back to another episode of Reaction of Black Clover. Today we're moving on to episode 23, and uh, this video, guys, was posted the same day as episode 22, so if you haven't seen that episode yet, uh, go check it out. The link is in the cards right now. It was pretty good. Uh, it basically just had more fighting than anything else. We got to learn that the main character villain of the sea of this arc um, was named Radies, uh, and that he can basically put the mana into corpses and then basically raise them up uh, from the dead to uh, do his bidding and he's always basically having this whole undead army attack the town attack the villagers of the capital and um and yeah, all the wizard knights that we've gotten to know recently, all the other main characters that we've learned about since early on, uh, that are all kind of broke off into groups to attack this undead army and uh I kind of touched on it a little bit last time, guys, that I feel like many of these new Wizard Knight captains and all these new characters that we just were recently introduced to, I feel like they kind of got featured a lot in the last episode with what kind of magic powers they have. And it just kind of quickly, you know, cut to each one of them and said, oh, hey, I'm going to do this magic ability. And then they would just take care very easily of a big group of undead people. Um, and I feel like the show did that intentionally just to kind of show the viewer like, okay, this person can do that power and this person has this magic power. And, and they're doing it so easily with a big grin or smile or laughing about it, anything like that. And I feel like that's also intentional because these whole this whole pompous attitude that many of these knights have, you know, they feel entitled. They feel like, you know, they're going to stroll into a battlefield and just take care of business because that's what they do. That's what actually happens. And so we're seeing it now, and I feel like we're seeing it now so that down the road in the future, whatever new threat is happening, they're going to stroll in, they're going to do the exact same thing, and then all of a sudden this new threat won't be defeated so easily, and all of a sudden they're going to be like, oh crap, like now what? You know, I just... You know, I'm not sure what to do. This usually takes care of the villains. And I feel like that'll happen down the line, guys. And then that might be a point where then, you know, Asta's going to come in and help him out because he's the commoner that nobody likes. And he's going to help him anyway because that's the kind of person he is. So I have no idea what I'm really saying, guys. But I just kind of rolling with some uh, theories and ideas in my head. So <laughs> there we go. All right, guys. We're going to move on with episode 23 today. I'm so excited to continue this arc and see what happens next. Uh... Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and joining me today. Uh, please like this video if you haven't yet. Please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And uh, we have more reactions coming soon. Black Clover uh, episode reactions will be out every Wednesday at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. And I do hope the, for the foreseeable future to be doing uh, at least two episodes a week instead of one like I've normally been doing. So uh, check back next week, guys, and we'll ho hopefully have the next one out for you guys. All right, here we go with episode 23 of Black Clover. Let's go. A brutal invasion shattered the peace of the Clover Kingdom's capital. Fire blazed in five areas of the city, and the Magic Knights... Yeah, I think we're going to get featured a lot, guys, in this one. The, the Crimson Lion Captain. I think that's the episode title. Um, I think he, we're going to learn about him in this one. And in the last episode, guys, he, he gave some real tough love to Noel. Like, I really feel like he went about it kind of wrong, but he, you know, what he said kind of made sense. Um, and if you haven't seen my last reaction, guys, I too, I also kind of mentioned that he, I feel like he did that just to, you know, throw a little, like, you know, wedge in the side of the Silver Eagles. I feel like he really does not like the Silver Eagle characters and that those two um, groups basically clash a lot. They're rivals, I feel like, themselves, the Crimson Lion and the Silver Eagles. So uh, that's the vibe I get so far. So we're going to see if I'm right at all. <laughs> All right, let's see what we, we can see in the credits this time. I remember, guys, really liking so many songs from my opening song reaction video of the show. and But I do have to say right now, guys, I'm totally loving the song for opening two. And I'm going to be a little sad when it does go away and we get opening three. But I think I remember really liking opening three a lot too. So I, I haven't really watched it since I started watching the show because I want to now be surprised again. Um, but yeah. <laughs> all right, so he's getting featured right there a lot. We're going to learn all about him probably. I'm curious, like, who with this, like, wind nymph like fairy type character if she'll come out in this fight at all in this arc or 
if she'll still be a mystery uh, to be later revealed down the line. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. Episode 23, The King of the Crimson Lions. Let's go. That's odd. They may be great in number, but they are poor fighters. Who is commanding them? Why employ such a strategy? What are they after? Just to keep you busy. So he can do something else. The king. Why isn't the wizard king himself here? These are the gravest of circumstances. And yet he fails to do his sworn duty. King of the Clover Whatever Kingdom, he was on, Augustus he Kira Clover the 13th. The first hint that the capital was being threatened. As our mightiest maids, the Wizard King is responsible for my well-being above all else. Has he forgotten that? This surprises me a little bit, guys. So this character Sorry, is the, the king King's of the Clover Kingdom. I uh, kind of assumed that the Wizard King had that role. So I guess not. I guess the Wizard King serves this king. And they're not showing his face, probably intentionally, for some reason. Okay, so... Got to adjust my uh, knowledge of the hierarchy <laughs> now. <laughs> the capital is under attack. We need to get to safety quickly. The magic knights have all gone down to the city to fight. There's no one for us to serve. What? They had the nerve to leave without They'll serve her. <laughs> it is a national emergency. Which means we need to get out. Uh, hey. Where, where did this little shortcake come from? You mentioned a special entree, chef. I'd be honored if you let me try it for you! Uh, uh, huh? A magic knight robe. She must be one of the big shots from the Distinguished Service Ceremony. Look at her. Those <laughs> eyes ablaze with determination. That drool sparkling with desperation. My god. This one is something special. I'll make you a dish that will ruin you for all other food. You can't be serious, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, we Living her best we'll life die. now. I'm not afraid of death. Salt Bay. Uh... <laughs> life is life. Cooking is all. Oh man, too good. Yeah, nobody knows the Charmy girl is even there. Um, I, I, I said it before, guys, I feel like she's going to be there ultimately for a reason. She's going to be there and it's going to be some surprise reveal to like help win the day or win the fight or whatever. That's my guess. We'll see if I'm right or not. But. Everything will be all right. Leave it to me. Come on, get down here! Back when we were in the dungeon. Yeah, I'll bring this guy down, and I'll get one or two hits in for you while I'm at it. I may not have Oh, so they're gonna figure out how to channel her power have, into his sword this time? Do it on purpose? When his sword was imbued with my magic, Asta defeated that mage. If I lend him my power again, even an enemy in midair should be no problem. Black Bull Girl! If you're going to step in and assist your squad mate, I will accompany you. I won't allow that coward to harm my rival. Great. A playmate for you. That should keep you occupied. Such muddy magic. Not a good match with mine. Basta. That wound he got earlier looks bad. It's like a flesh eating attack, maybe? Like it's just gonna slowly eat his face off. Hey Brett, remember what you said earlier? That stuff about me coming after you myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't you get it? Why would I bother fighting you myself? I've got plenty of others to do it for me! I not only have a brain, but I know how to use it. Something you can't say! He's a very strange villain. Like, I'm not sure how to read him yet. Kind of like I said in my last video too, guys. Like, I feel like he has another motive. Like, he's not just there to... He's not just there to, like, let him win. kill people you, and hurt the town, and, like, he, he wants something. Me? Stop wasting your time! Nothing's going to save you now! Alfred! Asha! Here's the captain. It was him. What's wrong with me? Why couldn't I beat him? I wanted to. I feel like out of own. all the Wizard Knight captains, guys, maybe he's the most in your fight. relatable. It like. Necessary. When he showed up at the banquet, he didn't engage Asta. He was more like, hey, like, why are you guys fighting him? Like, he was invited here, like, you know, knock it off. And forgive me. So even this gesture now, like, it's like, okay, like, he's, all right, this guy's winning me over a little bit. Commoner with no magic, you handled yourself well against a difficult enemy. You know, Jen, I like you. Come join our crew. He was right. It pains me to admit it, but Yami showed greater foresight than the rest of us. <laughs> Earlier, you said you planned to become the Wizard King. Say what? You think that you can be the Wizard King? Whatever anti-magic abilities you have, you're a brainless brat! You'll never amount to anything! <laughs> Asta. It seems that I am your rival as well. Oh? <laughs> All right, he, I, I like him. Didn't take much. Interesting turn of events. The Black Bull Boy couldn't handle it, so it looks like I've got not a, a fan of Silver Eagles yet. But this one, <laughs> no, this no, one's no, okay. The captain of the Crimson Lion Kings, the Great Fuegolion Vermilion. You've done enough. You can leave the rest to me now. Let's go. A captain's rival. No way! This is no time to be giving up! I'll fight with you! I can keep going! No, you can't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I wasn't already hurt enough. Exactly. A warrior must always be aware of his body's condition. He must assess whether or not he is truly able to fight. Your brash fearlessness may well be the greatest weapon you have. But you must learn to remain calm. That is, if you truly do wish to be the Wizard King. Asa's gonna take these words to Tell heart. Tell me, what is the purpose of this attack? Your actions are too inconsistent for this to be a true invasion. I was a magic knight, inducted six years ago as a top candidate. <laughs> One of us? No, that can't be possible. More than possible, I assure you. Though I suppose you took little note of me at the time. Flashback. He's a regular citizen, but his power is incredible. Do we have any hands, Captains? It's been a long time, but I remember you. The name's Radies. Radies, that's right. You were chosen by the Purple Orcas, so why are you fighting against us now? Because those short-sighted fools kicked me out. You were expelled? That doesn't make sense. You were strong, had so much potential. They were frightened by what I could do with my wraith magic. They said it was dangerous, forbidden. I was exiled not just from my squad, but from the entire kingdom. I'm only an average citizen. No one cared enough to stand up for me! No one! I'm here to use my cursed power to get revenge on the Magic Knights, and the kingdom that rejected me. That is the purpose of this attack. 
Well, that's one of the purposes anyway. All of this was to get your revenge. Don't toy with me, you fool! You doubt me? Ha! <laughs> that's the thing about reasons. They're usually quite simple. All right, here's the fourth one from the credits, if I had to guess. Right here, brother. Do you need any help? Nope, we've got this under control. Uh, Don't worry about us. Wow, these guys are hardcore. Real warrior brothers. Wow. That's enough talking. Time to fight. Flame creation magic. Leo Rutian. Wraith shielded itself. <laughs> Meet my number one, Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> I was extremely good at defensive magic back when he was alive. With a dash of my curse powers thrown in, we're practically impervious. She's another one. Cancel it out, Asta. How many does he have? Asta. Uh, sir. Remember what I said before about staying calm. Pay close attention. You're so sure you'll come out on top, aren't you? Defensive magic isn't the only area in which he excels. Ignis Kalina! So, you got yourself a magic barrier just like Carl, huh? Wow. Who who did that? <laughs> My flame magic. Solenia. When you attacked, the mana grew thin in some places across the barrier for the briefest moment. Those were the spots I aimed for. Wow, oh, okay. You think I've never been up against that sort of attack before? Listen up, you two. You are magic knights. In the line of duty, you will constantly face strong foes and tricky magic. You must calmly judge your abilities and those of your enemy. Fight bravely, but keep a cool head and maintain control. It's not easy, but if you can do oh, that... I like him. Blues. I'm sorry, guys. Understood. Sorry if I said anything yes, negative sir. before. <laughs> That's quickly. Still giving teaching lessons while right in the battlefield. Managed to reassure his allies? So, that's what it means to be a Magic Knight squad captain. Man... He's awesome. He beat my number one race. And my so question now, guys, is for for this Radies guy. One. Like, he Not was him. banished from his Listen squad, radius. but like, huh? did the you squad have, have the ability to well also banish him from the magic. kingdom, or did he have like some other really audience with the king or no more than the wizard savagery. king or something like that, and then got You're banished as well? So. They were right to have expelled you. Huh? I don't know. Goodness. I have a report, sire. Almost all of the assailants have now been neutralized. Yeah, all right then. And Julius, is he still off gallivanting about somewhere? He's out on an important mission, sire. Honestly, now, I can't imagine what he could possibly be doing that's more important than protecting me. All right, something's going on there. I don't know what yet, but it's over. something's happening. I'd still like to know what those things were. Whatever they were, I find it highly unlikely that they were our true enemy today. <laughs> this is what happens to people who dare to attack Shar! Serves you right! The women of the Blue Rose Knights are the only ones who can lay hands on her! Enough. Huh? You're just asking to be misunderstood. Only the Blue Rose Knights can touch her tender skin! Try again, <laughs> soul. Hmm? <laughs> What's this? Are we done already? <laughs> Too bad. I hardly got to play at all. Something isn't right here. <sighs> I guess it's all but over. Ugh, creepy. So very creepy. I need to get stronger so I can handle something like this more easily. <laughs> it's a bit early to be celebrating. <laughs> the preparations must be nearly complete by now. Time for a feast. Such lively young mana. Absolutely delicious. Okay, uh another mystery villain there. 
I don't know. Some kind of witch character. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, guys. Yeah. I don't know what to make of this. Like, I'll start with the Wizard King. Something's going on with the Wizard King. He's doing something. We don't know what. He was called away. The way they're, like, giving those looks and, like, with that, like, assistant guy, I'm, like... I'm trying to think, like, okay, what outrageous thing could it be? And I'm, like, right in my head now, I'm, like, okay, is this, like, king of the Clover Kingdom, is that Julius as well? But, like, dual personalities, is he, like, transforming himself into the king and he's doing both roles? And they don't know each other are the same person? That's a wild theory I have right now. Uh, is the Wizard King transforming into, like, Narrow the Bird or some other bird or person or something like that because he has that ability like is he just like observing because that's what he seems to like to do you know is he just out watching you know watching the knights how they handle stuff or is he actually doing some you know facing some challenge or doing some task for the sake of everybody i don't know but maybe they'll explain that hopefully sometime and um yeah, Asta got a great lesson in this episode. Uh, you know I feel like missed out. Like, Muno's going to be a step behind now with all that. Asta picked up from the Crimson Lion King. Three-second courtly cooking. Hello, everyone. Clover Kingdom's royal chef here, bringing you easy three-second recipes even a beginner can make. Today, we're whipping up a three-second curry. To keep it simple, we'll start with a roux purchased from the market. Then carrots, onions, and potatoes. You can add mushrooms or tomatoes if you like. Flavoring your curry with a touch of chocolate or coffee can give it more depth. Now simply take your ingredients and... <laughs> Use Throw it in there. To dice them up and <laughs> stew them. The more passion you put into it, the better your curry will be. Three seconds and done. Wasn't that easy? Alright, come to mama. Oh. Oh, this has been three second courtly cooking with easy recipes that anyone yes, can make. Yummy. See you later. Okay. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Will the magic knights please hurry up and do their jobs already? Black Clover, page 24, blackout. Oh. As ruler of Clover Kingdom, I, Augustus Kira Clover the 13th, have some important tasks, namely eating and napping. Yeah, this, okay, this, like, king seems, like, so out of his element, like, doesn't understand anything, just is like a little pompous baby character. And because of that, because he's so out of touch with reality, it seems, that's why I'm like, okay, is it some crazy theory? Like, could he also be Julius? You know, and the, you know, they're one and the same, but they don't really under know each other exists. Or, you know, like, that they are the same person, they think they're separate people. I don't know. Just a random wild prediction, guys. Just to think of something till we learn the truth. So, all right, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And uh, feel free to drop me a comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'd love to chat with you guys about it, as always. So uh, we'll be back otherwise, guys, next Wednesday with more episode reactions of Black Clover. I can't wait to see what happens, especially with this new mystery. Uh, which character i'm assuming maybe that one is going to be causing this blackout maybe trap everybody inside for some purpose i don't know just another another wild guess so all right guys we'll be back like i said uh in the meantime guys feel free to check out more episode reactions of uh fairy tale eden zero and other anime opening and ending song reactions i just did uh the ending song reaction recently for attack on titan so you can check that out and then uh you know as well as other content on the channel otherwise guys thanks so much for watching have a great day and we'll see you soon